Hi everyone, come with me as I take you on a tour of the Bethesda Home and School for the Blinds facilities. Yes. Hi, good luck. Yeah, welcome. Okay. So this is um, good luck. Yeah. He's a security man and he's blind. And at the same time, he's also the talk shop official. So we'll go with you to your shop right about now to okay. show our people your office. Let's go. All right. Good luck, sales, drinks. Open your drink. We don't have drinks. Well, I have drink. Open, yeah, let us yeah. see. Open it. Open. Good. This is where he sells those. And this is where all of us purchase that from. So we move now. Thank you very much, Mr. Good luck. Handshake. God bless. Take. Thank you. Welcome. Come with me as I take you all to our vocational section where we teach our students um, art making in beads. We call it craft class. Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. All right, so here is our vocational class where we train our students to make artwork in bags, in key orders, flower vases, and so many other art um, beauties. And we sell them for uh, the benefit of uh, making more money. And from here, whatever you learn here, obviously, can make a daily living for anybody. So what do you all say to our friends? Our friends, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. So I've been showing you all our craft class and department. Come with me as I take you to our multi-purpose hall. Um, um, and here is our multi-purpose hall. Good morning, everybody. So here is our multi-purpose hall. During the week, it serves as a classroom for all our nursery and um, beginners, basic school beginners class. To my left is a nursery class, and then to my right is a beginners class. And also, at the weekend, it serves as our analog studios. You can see the musical instruments over there. And this is where we do our church on Sundays. Everybody, what do you say to our friends? Our friends, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Moving on from our uh, multiple all, we're now going to our academical section where we we'll would first stop at, we'll make a stop at the primary two and primary four classroom. Here we train our students from basic two to basic four. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Good. Um, there is our, our primary four and primary two students. As you can see, some of them are not even happy to see me because they are taking their exams currently, third term exams. And you can imagine that we're cramping them all up in the same circuit from primary two to primary four because we lack a lot of space. This is supposedly our technological room but because we needed space for them, we had to convert it into a classroom. Well, we are moving to a new building very soon. So good luck in your exams, guys. Amen. Moving on from our basic school rooms, we're now going to our junior secondary school hall. Here we have um, put together JSS 1 to 3 um, due to the space um, issue that I discussed with you all before. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Among these persons are our students from JSS 1 to JSS 3, and they just finished their typewriting examination. They are relaxing and trying to revise towards mathematics. And um, I hope you guys are prepared. Yes, sir. Even if you are not prepared, you fail at your own detriment. Yeah. Yes, um, like we said, we have a hope that we are moving to the new building very soon so that there can be more space for our students to learn in a better conducive environment. Well, what do you guys say to our friends? Our friends, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm taking you through all our 
classrooms and our learning facility. We will now be moving to our hostels. We show you our various rooms and um, people like it, by the way. Our first stop will be at the ladies' hostel. Uh, let's knock so that. Yes. Okay, there's someone in. Um, hi, who's in? Okay, this is uh, our ladies' room. And then, like I said before, because of space, you can see how congested the room is. But uh, we're moving very soon to our big building. Um, hi, Faith. Hi. Okay. Good morning. All right. We'll now take it to one of the guys' rooms now. So we're moving to the first room of the guys now. Melo still. Don't expect to see something very intriguing. Melo still, by the way. Okay. Let's see if anyone is home. Hi. So here is the first room for the guys, um, guys room one, and the constant is that it's congested, and then um, that's what it is. Okay, I Bokwemi. Okay, Bokwemi is a guardians and counselling student in the university, and he has no lectures today. He comes from home actually to school, and but he has no lectures today, so he's at home, um, studying, and then uh, relaxing, preparing for classes and exams in their own school too. Well done, Bokwe. Thanks. All right. Moving on to the male room two. We will now check our second room for the guys. And we'd like to see who is home. So, this is the second room for the males, because we're actually many. And um, although the rooms are congested, um, like you, as you can see, we are excited to live in it because we have a hope that our building is bigger than this and we'll be able to accommodate more students. Obviously, people that are getting blind daily are uncountable and Bethesda needs to get to as much as we can. And that's why we try as much as possible to accommodate this number and then um, live with these conditions. But very soon, we'll be moving to our bigger building and then, um, from here we're going to our third male hostel, and then um, you'll see how it is. Welcome to my room. Um, this is the King's Palace, it's for big men. And I think I have the right to sit on my bed. Thank you very much. Ah, I greet myself. Welcome to my room. Uh, this is where uh, we live, and this is our third male hostel for Bethesda Home and School. For the blind. We are going to our director's office right about now, um, where we would like to ask her some questions and um, whatever it is. Yes, come in. Hello, mommy. Hello, Ahmed. Yes. How are you doing today? Very well. Good morning, mommy. Good morning, Ahmed. So, we are currently on the facility tour of Bethesda Home and School for the Blind. I sit down, sit down. Thank sit you very down. much. We've shown our fans and friends on the congestion of our building. First of all, we'd like to shortly tell them how you started and why the rooms are congested. Ah, uh, okay. Our status is 2005 and uh, we are like eight students. But well, today we have over 286 students. Yeah, in different federal university and currently one that is schooling here in Bethesda. So the room is so congested because they, I don't even know how to say no to some students. And you can see that some students, even when they bring them, they'll just drop them at the gate. And sometimes people passing by, we thought maybe we are weaker, but it's not weaker, but the room is so congested that we don't even know how to manage it. All the classrooms, are people are sleeping there and there. In the rooms, it's nothing to talk about. But don't know whether if they come to say no. But we are still saying no for people that have their parents come with their parents. We we'll give them dates because of our new building that is ongoing. Mm. Yeah, that's just it. 
Yes, so the new building doesn't have a date yet? Yes, it does not have a date for now. So we'll be leaving maybe before the end of this year, it will be okay. All so right. we can allow other people that needed to be here to be here. Right. And you also know that when the student graduates, they don't go. They, they will still wait until they get a good job that will enable them to be served and before they can finally go. So it also makes the room to be so congested because I, every year now we graduate 21 or 25 students. That we, if things are okay, they're supposed to leave the home. Yes, so we don't want them to go back to the street. After going to school? After going to school, they'll go back to the street. Mm -hmm. While we are uh, uh, trying to remove them from street, and after removing them, it's like putting a child a sugar in his mouth. After licking it, you now put a bitter uh, something on his mouth, mm -hmm. so which is not okay for us. So they remain here until they become self-reliance for themselves. So I believe that uh, since it's a non-governmental organization, you still need more support from uh, friends. Uh, yeah, that is true. Non-governmental organization, even federal government needs support. So talk less of non-governmental organization. So we live with support, not that we need. We live with it. <laughs> yes, it's right. our number one that we can't do it without support of our friends and uh, where we share. So please, our friends, we need more of you here in Bethesda. That is Reverend Dr. Choma Evelyn Oakwe, founder, pioneer, CEO, Bethesda School and Home for the Blind. Thank you very much, Mommy. Thank you, Mr. Ahmed. Yes. Right about now, we're moving to our kitchen where we cook the food for the number of students that you were told earlier, here in this kitchen, we make more than 500 meals per day. Um, around is a very big pot. The, if you're a regular follower on Instagram, TikTok, you'll have seen this place very much. So take a look. I haven't seen our kitchen. We're now moving on straight down to our music factory. We, I like to call it music factory because this is where we produce this is from here, we do all the rehearsals, we do all the whatever we do, and we go to the music studio in front to record them and present it to you on the social media platforms. So welcome to our music class. This is our music room, officially. This is where we learn. This is where we put together the good music that, by the grace of God, we're able to serve in churches, for birthday parties, so I use the opportunity to tell you all that uh, Bethesda Band is good enough to play at your birthday ceremonies, at your wedding ceremony. You can invite us. Uh, we would like to be there. And we'll play good music, every type of music. Genre, we are good at playing them. So you can see the drums, the guitar, the keyboard, everything is here. Our speakers, very big mixer. This is our music factory. So you can take a good look and uh, as you think of inviting us for your next birthday celebration and naming ceremony. Okay, this is the drums. And I'm gonna make those noise that you obviously, that we obviously hear every Sunday. It's nice to see people. And that drummer boy, finally they captured me. So see you in our next room. So welcome to, uh, this is our last male's hostel. And um, funnily, they call it Asso Rock because it contains the most number of students um, in this compound. This particular place is uh, very much not too conducive, obviously, as you can see. But we are still using this as a medium to tell them. We always tell them that they should just manage as we're going to our new building pretty soon. So they are also living with that hope and with the determination that they want to better their lives. They don't actually think about the condition of where they live. We may be poor, but we're not dirty. We're very neat. We try as much as possible to keep the rooms very clean. So take a look around and um, see for yourself. Welcome to our new building. 
here is the gate to uh, Jerusalem because of how big it's supposed to be. Um, I call it the blind village. This building is uh, touted to be able to host as much as 1,000 blind persons on this facility. And um, when it is done, obviously, we'll let the whole world know. See you when it is done, and we'll invite all of you to come and marry. You understand? Thank you very much, everybody, for staying tuned and following us through the facilities of Bethesda Homes and School for the Blind. Um, we are so much grateful, and uh, we hope it has given you an insight to how we live as blind people. Thank you for the support. You can continue to like, share, and comment as you always do. Those things make us very happy. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Mwah.